So finally, the summary of all that we discussed today. <clears throat> what is single entry system? Basically, we said that single entry system is no system. There is no system. When a single entry, no double entry. If double entry is not followed, then we call it a single entry. There is no system. Some books may be kept in any manner. It is incomplete record keeping. Usually cash transactions, bank transactions are kept. If there are debtors and creditors, those accounts may also be maintained. But basically, single entry is nothing, nothing but double entry not being followed. Why is it used? Why is the system used? It is used because it's very economical. It is time saving. You don't spend much time in it. Very little record keeping, simple to operate and therefore it is used by usually small business units, single proprietors who are running small businesses. <clears throat> the disadvantages are as compared to a double entry, <clears throat> we do not get a complete set of accounts. Profit which we arrive at may be only an uh, estimate. We may not be able to value our assets in the correct way. There is no question of disclosing the valuation of assets, etc. So it is more or less an estimate of profit. But considering the cost-benefit analysis, since an owner who has complete control of his business and does not do business on a very large scale, he may find it preferable to use a single entry system, which is simple, quick to maintain, easy to maintain and very cost effective. How are the final accounts prepared? Actually, final accounts are prepared only under the conversion to double entry system. But how is profit, may we may say, profit is ascertained. Profit is ascertained by two methods. What are the two methods? Either the statement of affairs method or by converting to double entry. If you convert to the double entry system, then we end up making final accounts. But under statement of affairs method, frankly, we do not prepare final accounts. <clears throat> what do we do under the statement of affairs method? We compare the closing capital with the opening capital and we say the increase in such capital would be profit. If there is a decrease in the capital, that's a loss. Basically, we said under statement of affairs method, closing capital add drawings, less fresh capital introduced, less opening capital will give us the profit for the period. <clears throat> the other is conversion from single entry to double entry. Now, when do you prefer a statement of affairs method and when do you prefer, con prefer conversion to double entry system? It frankly depends upon, upon the degree of completion of the records, degree of completion of accounting records. So if more, the more detailed records are maintained, we may be able to convert it to a double entry system and prepare a complete uh, income statement with a gross profit and net profit and a balance sheet. But if records are really minimal, there is not much information available, then we may have to fall back on the statement of affairs method. With that, we end our discussion. Hope you've enjoyed the session. Thank you, sir.